Okay, let's 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 keep going on these controversial subjects. Is feminism dead? Is it dying? I believe it is, and I'll give you a prime example here. Um, let's see. It was I think it was last year. Last year the uh, the Today Show. I'll get the um, I'll get the article up here. Uh, they sacked Karl Stefanovic, right? And this guy was like the golden child for the morning TV, the Today Show. And um, there was rumours going around that he got sacked because he divorced his wife. So that's his new wife. They've, he divorced his uh, Cassandra Thorn, Thorn, Thorburn and um, married a younger, younger lady here, uh, Jasmine. Now... And they, there was a big uproar of the feminists and, you know, the way, he, you know, they thought he treated his wife badly and, and they actually sacked him and, and they put um, Deb Knight and Georgie Gardner, there's, there's Georgie, and they put Deb Knight and Georgie Gardner in. And uh, as soon as they did that, I thought, this is just so stupid. They just held it as like, oh, wow, you know, two female co-host you know first time in the world almost that this has happened sort of thing which really wasn't because you know you've got the view and that sort of thing that's all female hosting but this is i think for morning uh breakfast tv this is the first time they did like two female hosts and straight away i said this isn't going to work the chemistry wasn't there uh it just it just was it just didn't it just wasn't right and um I told him in no uncertain terms on their Twitter and so forth, and uh, I got proven right. Actually, we'll get some background music going in the background here, because uh, don't like don't like silence. Don't like silence. <laughs> All right, we'll get that going. Yeah, that was playing in the background before. Not too sure what's going on there. Yeah, what we got going here. Yeah, it should work. Anyway, doesn't matter. All right. Looks like it is playing, but I'm not getting it through my headphones. Don't know why. Ah, oh, I might have switched off. Uh, oh, it's like live, t it's like live TV here. Oh, yeah, now I can hear it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, all good. All good. Alright. So, that's too loud. Now we'll turn it off. Take these off. Alright, so... There we go. So where were we? Yeah, Deb Nine, and Georgie Gardner. There you go. So it's got. Uh, I'll just zoom in here. The debut lineup of Deborah Knight and Georgie Gardner at the beginning of this year pulled in just 197,000 Metro viewers next to rival Sunrises 266,000. Uh, earlier this month, that figure dropped to a miserable 163,000. Its lowest ratings of all time. Oh my God, that is so bad. But um, you'll you'll see you'll see why when we uh, let's go turn this down. Yeah. You'll see why when you see uh, the sort of content that they were putting out. Um, this is when they interviewed Jordan Belford, and they just savaged him. Hang on, let's watch it because he just gets savaged from the very beginning. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> He's the billionaire businessman turned criminal. So why well, that's, that's Alison Langdon. This, this, this is this is gonna be a new new co-host of uh, Karl Stefanovic. But it's like you put it's like you put two females together and they've just savaged the guy. It's just ridiculous. So they they savaged Jordan Belford in this interview. I'll put a link uh, in the description. They just got stuck into him. But um, I think people. They watch. They watch like morning TV. They don't want to. They don't want to listen to. They don't want to listen to politics. They don't want to listen to like you know, you know, feminists. Feminists just you know, ramming this stuff down their throats in the morning. They want you know. They're trying to get to work. They're trying to be in a good mood. Not you know, listen to this negative, negative interview style. So um, there's just many examples, many examples of um, this sort of thing going on, and. Um, I think just it uh, showed in the ratings. The ratings just went just went to nothing, and I think this is a lesson learned. I I said to him, I wrote to, I wrote on their Twitter page, this will be the worst decision of your life. Carl Stefanovic was like a legend in the uh, morning television, 
and uh, you'll be begging for him back in a year's time. And it didn't even <laughs> it didn't even last a year. Um, not too sure when they started, but yeah, I, I, I saw the first episode and I thought this is just no way. No, it's just not gonna work. And here we go. Let's have a bit of read of this. <laughs> so now, now they're agreeing with me. What was Channel 9 thinking? The real scandal behind Carl Stefanovic's Today Comeback. So today show for my audience overseas is like the morning... Well, it was the highest rating morning breakfast uh, TV show in Australia. Uh, but the commentary around his comeback has ignored one truly mindless mistake. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is, this is quite interesting. What do you think about Carl Stefanovic comeback to Today... A friend asked yesterday, I considered a question. I certainly wasn't doing cartwheels. It's a man returned to a breakfast TV program, not the second coming of Jesus. Well, you know, <laughs> he's going to save the show, put it that way. Once Carl gets back, the ratings will go up. I'll start watching him again too, because I, I switched over. I switched over to Sunrise. Um, so it'll get me back as a viewer. I, I record I record every all the like the two major breakfast shows only because you know, to get some content but um, if I had to make a choice I'd, I'd watch Sunrise at the moment uh, with uh, Koshi and Samantha Armitage so this was so this is what sort of happened uh, yeah, his marriage ended 20 years to his ex-wife uh, Cassandra Thorburn ended in 2016. He married someone else, former model and shoe designer. So the feminist, so he said, "Wow, oh my God, you, know, you can't do this. You can't do this." So of course they they basically um, savaged him and got him kicked out. Um, so there we go. So what? Would, yeah, what were they thinking? They should have just kept him on. Uh, da -da -da. Let's have a look. What else to talk about here? Um, Da, da, da. But anyway, yeah, bye bye Deb Knight and Georgie Gardner, that's for sure, because they were hopeless. They were really, really cringe worthy. It basically looked, it looked like they were like a, a lesbian couple, really, <laughs> to put it mild. It just, it just did not, just did not even, didn't gel, didn't gel. It's, um, did not really work so well done for Carl and Lisa that's right Lisa Wilkinson she skipped ship as well there's a whole controversy about pay and everything she skipped over to the project and Carl basically got kicked off he never he went over and got married to his wife and uh, when he came back there was not a contract for him and um, so there we go so he's gonna be with uh, Alison Langdon she was formerly on 60 Minutes so I think they're gonna. There we go. So it's gonna be a new lineup for uh, the Today Show from January, sometime in New Year, I'd say. So there we go. So good on, good on Carl and Carl and Alison. I wish them luck. I hope uh, the Today Show gets uh, better ratings now that they're they're gonna be on board, and I'm pretty sure they will. And I think this is a lesson to the feminists. You just you don't don't uh, think you're gonna get your way when money is involved because money talks and as soon as the ratings went down <laughs> it's like you know they threw the feminists under the bus didn't they really it's just like bye bye you're not making any money not making any money for us you're out of here the ratings are down you're out of here guys and that's how it works that's how it works you know all this me too and everything if um yeah, they're, they're talking about Harvey Weinstein making a comeback as well. You know, it's it's all about money, guys. When it comes to this sort of thing, morals and and ethics uh, come second to money when the entertainment industry. That's for sure. So there we go. So what do you think? Do you think uh, Channel Nine are doing the right thing by bringing back Carl, or do you think they should have stuck by their guns and said we're not going to uh, allowing the guy back in? Actually, there was there was a there was a use something I missed here. Something about Ubergate. Ubergate, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, yeah, I've, I've vaguely remember this, but I'm not too sure what actually happened. There's something. Da da da. Um, 
artists, right? I think they... Actually, well, I'll better read through this quickly because I don't want to get it wrong. Uh, what actually got said? Uh, blah, 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 blah. The thing is, he said something bad about his co-host. I think he was talking about Georgie Gardner, from what I remember. Uh, where's the thing? Oh, uh, does it actually show here what was said? Um, private phone call in March said reportedly heard an Uber driver while Peter Stefanovic and his wife Sylvia Jeffries in the back of the car late night. According to the driver, Carl Venter, here we go. Carl Venter is frustration at today co-host Gardner who, who accused of sitting on the fence and not having enough opinions. The driver told New Idea the magazine that Carl became angry as he declared that he, she needs to step up if she wanted to stay in the show. Oh, that's fair enough. So that I think that's I think that's might have what's what triggered the feminists as well that they didn't like how they were giving Georgie a hard time. But hey, Carl, Carl's the expert, and he's 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 been on the show for many years, so he knows what he's talking about. So there we go. That's a little bit, little bit of background on why Carl Stefanovi got uh, got uh, ditched from the Today Show and he's back again. And I uh, hope he uh, asked for a bit of a pay rise because they they put him through the ringer. And I'm glad to see Carl back. It's going to be he's he's a lovable Larrick. He's a bit like he's a bit like a modern day Paul Hogan, and I like those sort of characters. So um, there we go. It's uh, it's looking a bit dark. Let's just zip up the, uh, I don't know what's happening with my auto exposure at the moment. It should usually pick it up quite well, but um, let's refocus on my face here. Beep beep. Hmm, that's a bit better. Anyway guys, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. Carl is back. Good on you, Carl. We'll see you, see you in the new year. I hope everyone watches the Today Show. I'll be watching it. It'll be great to see Carl back. They had him on uh, 60 Minutes for as a guest reporter. Now it's looking too bloody light. <laughs> Let's put it on zero. Uh, there we go. Let's check it on there. There we go. That's probably better. Yeah, they had him as a guest reporter on 60 Minutes. He did a fairly decent job there, but he's, he's, he's made for breakfast TV because he's uh, it's live. He ad-libs. Uh, you know, he's quite funny. He's got, um, got some good jokes and everything. He's, he's going to do well again. Back in the uh, in the uh, hosting role of the Today Show. So let's see you later, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, just look up look up some Carl Stefanovic videos if you got time on on YouTube. You know, like Carl's best moments or something. And uh, I'm sure there's lots of him around. He's he's just a total character. <laughs> okay, guys. See you next time. Cheers.